Welcome back to my channel. This week we are going to be making the orange sesame tempura shrimp that's at Citrus Blossom at Flower and Garden Festival. It is brand new this year and I am dying to try it, so I figured I'd come up with a recipe that sounded similar. So let's go get started. So in a small saucepan I am adding one teaspoon of chili sauce. And then in the measuring cup I have a half a cup of orange juice, a quarter cup of rice vinegar, or you could use white as well, and one teaspoon of orange zest. Then I'm adding in one teaspoon of sesame oil, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and one large clove of garlic minced. Then we're just going to whisk that around and let it come to a simmer. Now in this cup I have one tablespoon of cornstarch and three tablespoons of water mixed together and we're going to add it to the pot to thicken up the sauce. Now once it's thickened, we're going to put it in a jar or a container and put it in the fridge for a couple hours, overnight is even better, to let the flavors really meld. Now moving on to the shrimp. You definitely want to find jumbo large shrimp. These ones that I had on hand were a little too small for this. Um, what you want to do to make the tempura shrimp straight is cut slits on the underside of the shrimp horizontally. Now on the smaller shrimp, I found that a bunch of little cuts kind of destroyed the shrimp more than anything, so you will see when I fry them later that some of them curled up a little bit more than I would have liked. But if all you can find are small shrimp, that is absolutely fine. It will not affect the flavor at all. It's just something that looks a little bit nicer. Now for the batter, I ended up getting a tempura batter mix at the store. So what you want to do is take a half a cup of that and put it over a bowl of ice. You need this batter to stay ice, ice cold to get them really crispy. So then to the half a cup of mix, I added a half a cup of ice water. So I heated oil to 350 degrees and patted the shrimp dry, and what you want to do is Dip the shrimp directly into the batter and right into the oil. And what you'll see me doing here is I like to kind of float the shrimp over the top of the oil a little bit um, so that it doesn't sink right to the bottom and stick. We're going to fry the shrimp about three minutes per side until they're golden brown. And then we're going to drizzle some sauce on them and enjoy. All right, so let's try them. They look so good. I can't even wait. Let's see. Mm. Oh my goodness. Crispy, sweet, super citrusy with the perfect amount of spice. Oh, this with like steamed rice and broccoli, perfect dinner. I am just transported to Flower and Garden. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Flower and Garden Fridays and come back next week and see what we're going to make. See you next time. Bye.